Today I'm going to be building a new wheel. No problem, right? <laughs> right. Keep watching, you'll see. So, we got a brand new hub. Got some almost new spokes, which I harvested from a wheel. And we have a brand new pack of double butted 280 millimeter spokes and some brand new gold aluminum nipples. This should be an easy build, but uh, nothing's ever easy. There, there's always a problem. So let's see what happens here. So here we go, just kind of showing you what a double butted spoke looks like. It's a little thinner in the middle, a little thicker on the edges. It's supposed to give better flexibility. The regular 14 gauge spoke is just fine. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm comparing one of my brand new ones to one of the harvested ones. And we can see there's a, a fair amount of difference. Here's a brand new rim coming right out of the package. WTB STI 25. So here it is, brand new hub. And I'm just gonna lace it as per normal as I would a, any front disc hub or a rear non-disc hub. Just put in my key spoke. I'll just find my hole for the non-drive side spoke. Look, look a little tight there. I'm just gonna, just gonna place our key spoke to the left of the valve hole. Me looking at it, of course. And the first non-drive spoke in the hole right next to it. I foresee no issues at this point. Now, as I showed you before, the non-drive side spokes were a little longer. Here, I've just skipped over the first set of spokes. We'll just move over to the second set, but you can see that that spoke is a little tight. So we just follow the pattern. And I skipped over that second set because it's simple. But it's mostly because I, we run into this problem here with the spokes. That for some reason, they're too tight and I can't spin the hub. The second set, so the cross spokes on the, the disc side, are a little stiff, so I have to bed them in. And I'm noticing that spokes, well, the nipples are getting caught up on the, on the spoke holes. So all I'm doing is just kind of loosening the nipples all the way around to give as much slack as possible. There we go. I, I already know that the, uh, the disc side is too short. So what I did was experimented and took all the spokes out and I'm just going to inverse the spokes. So I'm going to put the short spokes on the non-disc side and the longer spokes on the disc side. Now, the reason I'm doing this is if there's going to be too much slack on the spokes, I'd rather it be on the disc side than on the non-disc side. It's, uh, it's less important than the tension that we need on the disc side. And it's the same with any rear wheel. So as we can see, uh, the pattern's starting. It looks good. Now this, theoretically, this should not work, right? Because we need longer spokes on the non-disc side. So we would want those longer spokes on the non-disc disc side and the shorter spokes, even if they're a little too short on the disc side. There, there's absolutely no way that the longer spokes should work on the disc side along with the shorter spokes on the non-disc side. A lot of builds you'll see they do the first set on the drive side or the disc side, then the first set on the, the non-disc side. Now, the reason we've done it, we've completely built the disc side first is because we want to see if these spokes are too long. And so far, they don't seem like they're too long. And I know that I have the other set of the this side, the longer spokes, but I want to try the shorter spokes. <laughs> I, it's just something I wanted to try, so I had the uh, the camera out, and I'm going to do it. For some reason, it's working. That's a that's a good amount of slack. I don't understand. It shouldn't work. <laughs> it, it really shouldn't work, but it's working. So why would I stop? I, I'm, I'm just going to follow it through. And there we go. I've built it up. We can see that uh, most of the dishes on the non-disc side 
which has the shorter spokes. And that's sort of what you would want on the dish side, where you would need the dish. But I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to see. I'm going to see how short these spokes really are. So I've tightened her up a little bit. You can see it. The hub's a little cockeyed in there. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm just gonna tighten her up. I'm gonna check my dish. So here we go. I'm gonna start on the non dish side. And we can see all the dish has to go over to the disc side. Well, I throw it on the stand. It gets workable. Now we're gonna true by touch once again. And. We're going to see, simply because we know we have much longer spokes on the on the disc side versus shorter spokes on the non-disc side. I don't see any problems here. This is totally workable. So we've got a little bit of pull to the right. And that's going to be the disc side normally, the way that I put it in the, the stand. And there's still some flex in the, the non-disc side. A fair amount of flex. So, got a little hop that's developed here. And as always, we're, we're just gonna go around the wheel. We're just gonna fine tune, find our spokes. Like at this point, you can just see what's loose and what's not. And we have a little bit of rub, a little bit of radial rub. There we go, we, we found some loose spokes. I guess I decided to go with one spoke. Let's see. Yeah, it pulls a little bit over to the non this side. Seems to be doing all right. Again, we, we're tightening up on the non this side. Just a teeny hop over on the disc side. And there you go. You can see it's just that one spoke. Tried a little plucking. Yeah. It's that one spoke. So far. There we go. There's a little bit of pull over to the non disc side. Oh, we found some good loose ones. Got a little bit of pull over to the disc side. Man, the camera just did not want to focus. There we go. They're just small little hops here. There we go. Found our loose offender. It's it's really starting to smooth out really nicely. There are some guys who will stop right there, because that's all they need. Okay, and we just keep going, because we're not like that. <laughs> we're going to make this as perfect as possible. Oh yeah, there we go, that looks really good. Oh, that's really good. That's what you'd expect. Well, even then, there's still a bit of fine-tuning. So I'm going to dish here. Just, just a little bit off. And what we want to do is... So what we want to do here is check out our tension. And we want to do it on the non this side. Because that's where we had our, our shorter spokes. We want to see where we're at, tension-wise. Now, because they're shorter spokes, we can bring it up. So here we go. I've done even tension all the way around the wheel. Now I fixed it. Now, that's looking smooth. There's just a tiny bit of a rub. A radial rub. And that's because of the... There you go. That's because of the weld. And that, that, that's almost always a problem. And there's a, there's a lot of smoke engagement there. 
It's almost like they're exactly the same. <laughs> and we know we had some really long spokes on the dish side. So we've dished it. It's got to come over a little bit and just fix that. It's super easy. And that to me is done. That's done. That's smooth. That's really nice. And here we go, the finished product. It's uh, it's not much different than any other uh, wheel build. What we got here is an experiment. We tried a little shorter spokes on the non-disc side and longer spokes on the disc side, and we're seeing that they're almost at the exact same spot. So I'm gonna call this experiment a success. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like, comment, ask questions. Thanks for watching.